What's up gamers, Sixpenny here and we're diving back into the week three True Sim tournament in PGA Tour 2K21 TGC Tours. This is gonna be a blast because we already played great in the first two rounds. We are sitting right now at 22 under par through the first two rounds. That puts us in 33rd place. Now keep in mind, most players have already played three rounds and their scores are already posted. There's still a few that still have left to play at the time that I'm playing this, but if we could put up like a seven under or eight under, if we could get to 30 under par, that'd be an eight under, we may be top 15, but really we probably have to put a 31 or 32 under to get that top 15. So that's what we're going to be pushing for on this video. I'll update you all throughout the round. And keep in mind, handicap scoring, scoring is turned on in this event. So the scores that it will show on the screen and the, in the game are not correct. But if you want to continue to see True Sim on the channel, drop a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel. And be sure to click that notification bell because only 10% of you had that notification bell clicked. So click it today to stay up to date on all my new videos. New videos every single day on the Gamer Builder YouTube channel. You can check the full playlist in the description for all the other TGC Tours rounds in TGC, the True Sum rounds and my Platinum Tour rounds. Let's take a look at the settings here. So high west, firm, firm, fast. It should be able to play well here, but it's True Sum, right? You never know what can happen out there. You may hear my dog in the background Hello, chewing my on her uh, True Toys back there. Company. She, she seems to be having a blast right now. You love to see it. Let's get the nervous jitters off right off the bat. Practice swing and let's blast it. All Boom. Right, that thing was round. smashed. Smashed. Should be it. Yeah, okay. I was getting nervous there. I was getting nervous. I was getting quiet because I'm like, is this going to fall out of the fairway? And Good no, job. it didn't. So we're fine. And, we're and I do need to make sure I always. So I played my platinum here. tour rounds last night and I didn't. Yeah, I turned off the approach camera. So you always have to make sure you have that camera on, especially when you do both true sim and not. So if we're 128 yards, uphill 17 feet. It's going to fly about 136, but then we have the wind. I like this club. Do a little bit of loft, a little bit of backspin. It's going to come off to the left, and the wind's going to blow it back to the right. There's the perfect we need. A 101 perfect. I did push it on the swing plane. Look at this. Go in. Oh, we had the line. What a golf shot. That is how you want to start the true sim round, right? And I am keeping score on my phone because the game will not keep track. That is a birdie on hole number one. What a way to start True Sim. Nothing better than starting with the birdie on True Sim. Well, I guess an eagle or hole out for a hole in one. So I guess there are better ways to start, but birdies are out there though. Birdies are out there. Listen to John. John knows. Left if I hit 151, one. it's going to fly about 12 yards further. That's 163, and then we have that wind. So what I'm going to do is do almost full loft, almost full backspin as well. Because that wind's going to really kick it to the right and add a little bit of distance. That fast is not going to help. So we're basically going to dampen that wind's direction on, effect. Distance is looking fine, but yeah, look how far that fast took us to the left. That's all right. We set 171. That's Good actually job. a perfect club. Green. Ooh, Touch putting though. We made it a lot car. easier the last time when we hit it right next to the hole. My instinct is so it, to me, it looks like it's kind of flat at the ball. The feet might be above the ball, but it looks like it's breaking left to right and it might start to come back at the end. The caddy has been correct this week so far. So maybe we should just listen to those first instincts, aim a little bit to the left and full send it into the hole. Oh, cut, 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 cut. That was a really good putt. So I was, my first instincts was Ryan. Did you all see the swing plane? Ryan Gamer actually hit a dead straight swing plane. Believe it or not, there was no Ryan Gamer push on that one. There was on the next one though. <laughs> we'll take a par. John says bogey because of the handicap scoring, right? John, come on. You know that was a par. So one under for the round, 23 under for the tournament. 
But thank you all so much. Here on YouTube, you all are incredible. Thank you for all the support, all now the positive encouragement comments, and like all the support on the True Film and really all my content. You you all are all legends. I appreciate you all. I couldn't do any of this without you all. Oh, get a good kick. Come on. And I have coffee in my system now, getting some energy. Something about it. I always like coffee or hot tea during my golf rounds. On my live streams, I like hot tea. And my videos, I like coffee. This green is really Beautiful drive, 113 yards, uphill 22 feet. So this 116 is going to fly about 109. We have a little bit of an uphill lie, which is going to take off some distance as well. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of backspin and then a little bit of D-loft. Getting fancy here on hole number three. It, wow, did you see how much that ball came off to the right? Come back down. Come back down that hill. So I misread the lie angle at the feet. Oh yeah. I That's misread, but it really kicked nice. off to the right. But we're, we right, have a birdie we look here from 11 feet. It's flat, so no elevation changes at all. Let's change our aim marker so we can get a further look at this. To me, it looks like the flag is tilted away from Gamer, which would indicate a left to right break. Feet look like they're above the ball as well. I'm going to go about two couplings outside. Going towards that Get in. Hole. Caddy oh, forgot man. to take out the pin. We'll give him a break okay. this time Here's because I pen. missed it. So right, close. So did you see how much it just do. do dove at the end, dove underneath the hole? It, it, that's Sitting really when it kicked. But I mean, it's going to break more as the ball slows down. It makes sense that it broke more. I just didn't see it. So that is a par. So we're, we're one under for the day. But I feel like this is similar to how we were starting this week. I feel like a lot of them. I can't really remember exactly how we started. But let's get the caddy book out to make sure we don't... Yeah, we're going to aim at this tree here. A little bit of loft, a little bit of backspin, full send. Nice swing. A little bit on the soul side, but that's still going to be perfect. That thing is smashed. Please hold on to the fairway. John, if you have to kick that ball, you kick it. Beautiful. You cannot hit the ball okay, much better than that. We're on left with a very scorable par 5. 209 yards, up 12 feet. So this is going to fly 211 into the headwinds. Probably going to fly 200, maybe 205. So we're going to, I like the full club actually. Or maybe a little bit of stopping action on it. How much green do we have to work with? That's all. Okay, so it's in the front. This is a little more dangerous now that I look at it. We're resetting. We're doing a full 215 without any shot shaping. I slowed it. Yeah, we're going to be... Look how much oh, that... Man. Just a this little bit of a slow. Sad. Dampens that wind effect dramatically. And there could have been a lie angle that I didn't look at there either. The green side Should be a pretty Looking simple splash here. here, though. 25 yards. A little bit of a downhill lie as well, which is going to add some distance to our shot. It was into a down slope. I thought it was going to roll a okay, lot more a because I saw the downhill, but it just didn't roll. That's that's unfortunate. It's okay. We can still birdie this. Birdie chance here. Looks like feet are below the ball. Flag is tilted towards gamer. So left to right the whole way. Let's go about two and a half cup lengths. Maybe a little bit more. It's got to cut. Cut. <sighs> Remember when I said maybe a little and bit more? Four, I was just oh. off. That That is a right, must birdie hole. You know, we got the par, and we'll take it and move on. But in Ten the future, in the round, round four, we really need to birdie that hole. So we are 23rd under, 23 under puts us in 29th place right now on the TGC Tours leaderboard. I'm still battling a for a top 15. I know Mike one. has been calling it for a while on the Trusome videos, and I... I think Mike's going to be right. I appreciate you with these great predictions and me getting that top 15. We almost had it last week in Platinum Tour. Really brought it in rounds one and two. And same thing this week. I brought it there. Wait till you see round one. You can check out round one on the channel. It's it's well, going to be live by the time you're watching this video. Up here, but round one was epic. And then play. you'll see round two coming as well. So 145 up 14. 
This 142 is going to fly about 137. We have a little bit of a cross tailwind in a way. I like the club. It's going to come off to the left and the wind's going to blow it back to the right. There's the perfect. You can't hit it any better than that. Get up. Beautiful golf shot. Beautiful. I hope it holds a little bit. Okay, we're fine. We can send this one in for birdie. Right, hitting those greens today. Well done. To I me, it looks straight in. With my first glance, ugh, these are tough. Well, never mind. I think that looks right to left a touch. Especially at the beginning. I think it's right to left and back the other way. I'm going to go right edge. Looking pretty good. Let's go. That Looking is a touch. huge birdie. We're back on track there. Five holes. We've had two birdies, so two under for the day. That puts us in par. 20. Uh, that puts us 24 under right now. 26 plays on TGC Tours leaderboard. Now let's see what we can a do. Tough here par three here. Six. So 211 yards, downhill 12 feet. 215. We're going to go 215 full loft. Completely full loft. Let that wind push it over. It's all going to come down to the tempo, though, right? I guess it always does. Oh, no. <laughs> it always comes down to the it's tempo. Sometimes you just right. want to smack it and have a really hard putt, right? Anybody else out there? That shows that distance was great, though. And you're on the green. 68 with feet. We have to putt it. Putt ahead of you. It's not over 75 it's feet. Real. You Hold can't putt unless it's over 75 feet. Oh, no. I want to say right to left the whole way. It's not going to break much. I'm going to go a little bit on right edge. Like three cups outside. I hit it too hard. That might have been straight in. I crushed that thing. Oh, no. Okay, these are the ones you have to make, though. Just, uh, yeah, a little too much. Okay, let's there. really focus on this one. Feet this look like they're below the ball. Feet. Flag looks like it's tilted away from Gamer. Huh. It's a little double breaker. I'm going to go left edge. It was straight in. Unlucky. That is unfortunate. John All says right. unlucky. Putting I think it was just misread. Bogey's gonna All happen right, so though, right? You says, just have to get your bogeys, move on to the next hole. So I mean, bogeys, it happened. Let's move on and move forward, right? Press on. So we're tw back to 23 under for the tournament. 29th place. We have our work cut out for us. All right, so here we go. Hole number seven. We got some work to do. I had to, I actually dis disconnected from the servers and had to reload in. So, uh, hopefully I don't get any more disconnects in the round. Let's see if we can put this one in the fairway. We have a solid round going. I, think she's coming I mean, the just fairway. gotta limit those mistakes. Bogey's gonna happen though, right? Just get them and move on. Let's not dwell on it. Let's move forward. Best way to get rid of a bogey is yeah, to get a birdie on the next hole. So, so, 139, uphill 10 feet. Per so, we have a cross tailwind here. I'm gonna go... A little bit of backspin, a little bit of loft. I like the club, but I, I've been hitting them a little fast. Let's see if we can dial this one in perfect. There it is. There's the perfect. Wow, that ball really came off to the left off that lie. Got a nice kick up onto the green. We're going to have nice a shot. nice look that'll, at birdie. So do. 22 feet, uphill That's one inch. Far. I mean, to me, it looks like, look how much the feet are above the ball. It's really going to kick left to right at the beginning. And it kind of looks like it's left to right the whole way. But more so at the beginning. I'm going to go about three cup links on the left side here. Come on, come on. Oh, so Ooh. close. There's one right, more cup link we were out. in there. You notice that the and caddy that keeps forgetting to take the pin out. That, that's happened in the past, so but the, our caddy's been better at that. That is another par, so still Sitting one under on the round. That's 23 under, still in that same 29th place. We have some work to do. I need to, whoever called in the birdie train in rounds one and two. Can you call it in again? I would appreciate you if you right put it on a kind of a one. time clock to show up on hole number eight. 
So here we go. Drivable part four. I believe we can get there. Yeah, I think we can get there. But is it worth it? We're going for it. Yes, it is. It's worth it. Good gracious. You absolutely lit that one up. Absolutely lit run. it up, John says. What a smash. Come on, get a good kick. Roll all the way down. Look at this, gamers. Look at this golf shot. I kind of hope it gets off the green because it's going to be very chip inable. What a golf shot. Okay, Might be the shot of the shot. tournament so far, especially if we can chip this one in for eagle. This is a momentum shifting shot. It's kind of hard. I'm going to switch to my putter so I can get a better look. Again, using another Mac 1 tip out there. So it looks like it's breaking right to left. We're, we're sending this one. It's going to come off to the right. I mean left. Oh, and then I fasted it. I, I pushed it on the Ooh, swing plane as well. I thought nice that would chip. cancel it out. That is going to be a birdie, right, though. Moves us back to... We erased the bogey board. a few holes later here. So we did erase the bogey. That's bogey. Sitting That's two under for the round. For that the moves round. us to 24 under for the round. 26th place on the TGC Tours leaderboard. Can we keep pushing? I think we can. I really Here do. So Part thank you for calling in that birdie train. Whatever. Whoever it was out there who called it in. I think it's probably multiple people that call in the birdie bounce. train, right? Oh, get a good kick. Don't you bounce to the right. I know it's going to bounce to the right, but how much? Hold. Thank you, ball. Wow, that was dangerous. Part 5, we just made it so out. much easier. 166, uphill 4 feet. Let's take a look at the caddy book here. Not a lot of green to work with at all. Okay, so I'm going to put some backspin, a little bit of stopping action, a loft. Fast at a touch. Come on, it's probably going to go a little bit too far. Yeah, it's just a little bit too much. And it's not going to stop. But we are looking at an eagle putt here. Caddy, give me the read. What do you got? For eagle. Feet look like they're above All the right, ball. Dizzy. Flag Three, is two, tilted footer. to the right. I'm going to say a, a pretty significant left to right putt. It's flat. We don't have to worry about uphill, downhill at all. I'm going to go like five couplings, six couplings to the left. Looking really good. I was right about it breaking a lot. Look at that thing. That thing really broke. This is should be a tap in birdie. But remember, there are no gimmies in True Sim. No gimmies whatsoever. That is another birdie. Moves us to three under on the front. So we did battle back. Not what we would want. You know, of course we would want better. But that is going to be a three under on the front. Moves us to 25 under for the tournament. Just updating my phone here. Okay, careful of the headwind out so there. So 25 under moves us to 24th place. Let's keep digging here. Blast this drive. Beautiful tempo. This tee shot should play. Right in the fairway. Hopefully no more connects, disconnects. That through, you know, actually maybe the disconnect improved my game. <laughs> Here's our second shot on the 10th. So 188 into a cross headwind. That's not... 170s might be the club with a little bit of D-loft. A little bit of D-loft, a little bit of backspin. Let's see what type of green. Ooh, this is a tough one. It's going to be really tough to get this one close. But that's the swing you can hit it with. Yeah, it hit that rough. Did you all see how firm? Look how firm that thing bounced, which is what you would expect on that light rough. That thing's going to go, but we will have a birdie putt here. Can Ryan yeah, Gamer send it home? Nicely. Let's see. So it's Quite feet are above the ball. I can really see a quite a bit of left to right break here down that slope. Kind of looks like it comes. Nah, yeah, it goes back towards Gamer. It is a double breaker a little bit towards the end, though. But it's going to break a lot left to right. We're going way outside here. So it did look, it did come back at the end. It didn't break as much as I thought. That's going to be a par though. Oh no, I spoke, I almost spoke too soon. That almost broke a little bit too much. But that is a par. Still at 25 under. 
eight Sitting holes left, plenty of scoring opportunities left. I'm having a blast with True Sim this year. It's been so much hole. fun. That swing was to die for. Probably because I'm actually scoring better, and you know, a lot of that, you know, that's because of the pro difficulty. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've learned how to read the greens, and now I don't have to worry about missing tempos. <laughs> It's probably why I'm enjoying True Sim much more. It's much more relaxing right now. 140, so 125 uphill six. This 142 is going to fly 140 into that wind. I'm going to need a little bit of backspin, a little bit of loft. Come on, kick left. Oh, be the club. Be the club. And we're going to be on the fringe. This is great distance, just not shot. not great accuracy. Let's see if we can send this one in for birdie. This is very chip inable here. Be the one. Come on. Nice Let's go, gamers. That is a huge that was, birdie. That was, that was a fine shot. Huge birdie. Well, let's rewind and watch that again and see how this went down. That is huge. So that moves us to 26 under for the tournament. That's in 23rd place. We're tied with Narwhal right now. Let's go. Narwhal's been playing some great golf out there. Been crushing it. And it's great to be well up there with some the big round. names. Look, the game's our handicap okay, is like 42 under or something crazy deal. like that. Let's see. What do we have here? It's plenty of green to work with. 133 is going to fly too far. 16... Actually, it might not. I'm going to go 133 with full loft and backspin. To really get this thing to stick. Looks like this one's heading for the green. That's a really good shot. So the back... You can see that tailwind really decreases your backspin. Really. So that I did full and it still got a good kick goodbye. early. You got always have to keep that in mind. So we have right to left break. Flag is tilted to the left. Feet are below the ball. I'm gonna go like three couplings outside. A little bit more actually. I've been under reading. Well, the putt appears to be online. Wow, who would have thought that was an under read? Even with the Ryan Gamer right, push. This, grab the boat and <laughs> and still, so that is gonna be a par. We'll take right, it. Take a gander at the scorecard. We'll take the par. Be on our way. That's still one under on the back. Over for this round. All right, let's see what we can do. Still here 26 13th. under for the tournament. Can, can we full send a driver here? I think we No, this wind. We can't get there. If the headwind wasn't right at us, we'd be able to go at it. Well, yeah, we would have been right in that bunker. Please be in the light let's stuff. How lucky side, can bro. we get Come that on, little man. that last kick we got? Made this shot so much easier. So I'm going to do the de-lofted splash here. I'm going to de-loft the splash. Yep, this is the club. These are challenging. These are really challenging shots. Ah, just miscalculated that. Oh, the uphill lie. I completely forgot about the uphill lie. That was why that ball just died. We still have a birdie putt here, but this is not going to be easy. Feet are below the ball. Flag is tilted away from us. So it's definitely going to be a right to left the whole way. We've been over under reading. Let's do a little bit more this time. Looked Had the line. Nice. Look at that. That was beautiful. You can do now line was perfect. Just didn't hit it firm enough. On. That's going to be a par. Not Never going to complain about a par in true sound. Five holes left. We have two par fives. Very scorable par fives as well. Round. Getting some more coffee right here. And we're just going to full send this, this one with the coffee energy. Beautiful smash. She the slight fast is going to dampen that wind's left to right effect. There is water up here. I do have to be a little bit concerned about that. You all saw last week. If you didn't, you can check it out in the playlist. But wow, did I find the water a few times. Here on the 14th. Or whole last season. You can actually watch any of my PGA videos or live streams and you're going to find water. <laughs> I'm going to do full loft on this three wood. It's going to come off to the left because of the line, but the wind is going to pull it back. Beautiful. 
You cannot hit it any better than that. It's not gonna it's gonna hold on the green, but you can't really stick a three wood at all. So it went 237, and we're gonna be left with a very difficult birdie there putt, eagle go. putt this here. Is, this is up. 51 feet uphill five inch for eagle. Here we go. This one for birdie. I mean, these are some of those where you're like, well, it's gonna break one way, so let's say it's gonna br this kind of looks straight but i'm gonna go right to left so a little bit on right edge these are so tough well i misread that one so it was right to left but distance was perfect there. let's take this birdie right, be on our way it's a little bit left to right there we go. Let's and go, gamers. Never going to complain about a birdie, that's for sure. So that is 27 under on the tournament. Moves us to 19th Sitting place. We are in the top 20 right now. For the round now. Top 20. Can we keep pushing? Here comes hole number 15. What do you think, gamers? What's your prediction? Are we going to come top 15 this week, finally? Is this the week? Boom. Please get in the fairway. Don't you dare stay in the rough. No, that's perfect. The wind's taking us perfect. And this is usually my wheelhouse right here. A little lob wedge to the green. Nice. A little pitch. So yeah, lob wedge. So eighty so eighty seven yards. It's uphill nineteen feet. So it's gonna play like ninety three. So I'm gonna do actually a D lofted lob wedge with a little bit of stopping action on it. This one's looking good. Did I put enough stopping action? I did not put enough stopping action. That still looks solid shot. At least we're not in the bunker. Okay with that. 18 feet, 3 good inches uphill. Parse, feet possibly. look like they're below the ball. Flag is tilted the opt away from gamers. So this looks like a double breaker. I'm going to say a little bit more right to left than left to right. But I have been wrong oh, before, and this is another time ball. that I was wrong. That okay, was a straight-in putt. <laughs> we'll take the par, though. Okay, let's see how everyone else is doing in this event. So three holes left. We have a par five right here coming up, which is Sitting very scorable. And then a par around. three, maybe a hole-in-one opportunity. You never know. I'm still looking for my first true sum yeah, ace. Par five goes. And you can't pay attention to the leaderboard there because it's, you know, it's all over the place. <laughs> Go. I think you're gonna wind up beautiful here. we need an eagle here bad this would be a huge eagle we need the caddy to give us the read here so ryan gamer can hit a dart here be right next to the hole All when right, you can't putt just now, land it right next to the hole 199 uphill 26 feet so basically it's gonna play to 206 207 oh this is not a good club it's gonna have to be the 215 with basically full loft, a slight parcel. This is this is not an easy shot. Hardest shot of the round so far. But it is it is a par five, so like we don't expect an easy shot to the green. That's not bad at all. Gonna have a good birdie chip here. Good, very chip inable shot. This one's to maybe third. find an eagle to get some momentum. I'm gonna go up to the sand wedge, do a little bit of D loft. Come on. Let's go, gamers. The and eagle. The that is a Way huge oh, eagle. Amazing work. Four under and on the back now. 29 under for the tournament. 17th place. I see Pat up there. Pat Strife, subscriber to the channel here on YouTube and over on Twitch, is at minus 30 through three. Can we actually over for the tie round. Pat? That would be pretty awesome if me and Pat have a battle till the end. <laughs> what a round. That, that was a huge putt. I mean, yeah, huge chip. To I told right. you it was chip in So we have a par three. Hole. 156. Downhill seven feet. 151 is going to fly. 153. I'm going to use a little bit of backspin. A little bit of loft. Let that wind pull it over. This is it. I'm going to take off some backspin because it kind of sh the wind shifted a little bit. Into more of a cross headwind. Wow, that wind really did shift. Okay. 
Still got a really nice kick there from the fringe. It's a good thing we hit the fringe and not the green. That'll work. Distance was great. 22 right, footer uphill four inches for, for birdie here. Feet look like they're below the ball. The flag actually looks straight up and down. I don't think it's really breaking besides the beginning. So I'm going to go left a little bit outside right edge. Another, that was another straight in putt. Right another the straight in putt. We're not. Can Hopefully anybody we'll else see these straight in putts? I always try to convince myself that there is break. That is going to be a par. So still happening. 29 under. Can we tie Pat? If we birdie this hole, we tie Pat. It is going to be a battle here. And, best of and we are and above some huge players. Like you're talking about some high level platinum players that we are sitting above right now. That is insane. Hopefully we can keep this up. Oh no. This could roll into the rough, I think. That is not going to be good. Please go in the sand. Don't go into the bushes. I'm not sure how this one's going to play. <laughs> oh my, is there water here? Oh yes, there is. Okay. We are hitting this safe. Uh, this one's going through some brush. We're playing that safe. Well, we're playing it safe. We may still get a great shot out of it. I was so nervous we were about to smack that in the water. So I went up to the 188 and then just did full loft and backspin. That is actually a really good recovery shot here. Looking at a fairly chip inable shot here for Birdie. It's going to come off to the right. Get in. I didn't hit it hard oh, enough. Nice a little, little bit more there. snap on it that was in, All but right. that is going to be now a par to finish the round. A very solid round there. So that was a four under on the back. So the four under on the back puts us at 29 under for the tournament here after three rounds. That's right next to Pat. We're in 17th place. Pat's up there in 16th place. Lone 16. And then 30, minus 31 is tied for 13th up there. First place is 42 under. Love Scud is a legend out there. Love Scud shot a 59, a 58, and a 57. <laughs> Insane. And then let's see. Look at these. Yeah, you can't pay attention to the scores. But I, Eisenberg, I know Eisenberg and Narwhal have been crushing it recently. But what it, let's take a look at the event stats before we finish this video. What a round, what a tournament this has been so far. Fairways and regular, so for round three, 85 fairways, 88 greens. That is really good. Driving distance was great, 32. Proximity to the hole is solid. I would like to get that a little less. Putting, it was no long putts, but short, medium, we'll take it, right? We only had one medium putt though. We just left ourselves a lot of short putts, we'll say that. A scrambling was good. Birdie conversion was solid. 37 is not bad. Let's see what it was in round two. Birdie conversion, 62. See, then we need that higher. Let's see the event total. Birdie conversion event total so far is 48. That's really good. Scrambling, 100. What's our fairways in regulation for the tourney? 83, 92 greens. That's why we're playing so well this week. Believe it or not, you actually hit fairways, hit greens, you score well. <laughs> profound science finding right there but gamers thank you so much for watching this video to the end round two i mean the final round is coming tomorrow if you're watching this video the day it goes live it may already be live though by the time you're watching this you can check the full playlist in the description to find out drop a like i'd greatly appreciate it and subscribe and don't forget to click that notification bell even if you are subscribed and and Turn on all notifications because only 10% of you have it turned on. Let's raise that to like 55% to get to be part of the notification squad. I appreciate you all. I will see you in the next video. As always, gamers, have a fantastic day.